Hartford police trying to make sure a scene like this doesn't happen again at the Xfinity Theater. That big fight broke out last summer. It was a mess. And this summer, police are hoping things will be different. They're cracking down on tailgaters this year. News 8's Noel Gardner live for us tonight in Hartford with what police are planning ahead of that concert tomorrow. Noel. Darren, that's why Hartford police are bringing in more officers than ever before for tomorrow night's concert. The Florida Georgia Line concert is expected to bring in more than 24,000 people. This will probably be our largest uh, underage drinking enforcement that will effort that we've had thus far. Hartford police are adding additional officers to combat underage drinking at tailgate spots. 90 officers will be at the Florida Georgia Line concert outside and inside the Xfinity venue, plus traffic and liquor enforcement. The city of Hartford's not paying for a single one of those officers. Uh, they are entirely paid for by uh, the event and by uh, the Department of Tra Transportation. Officers will be sweeping the parking lots. Police say the Florida Georgia Line concert raises concerns. We know what a party concert is, okay? Uh, Chance the Rapper is a party concert. Florida Georgia Line is a party concert. Uh, you look at the age group, you, you look at what's happened historically uh, with their concerts, and you look what happens in other venues with their concerts. Parents say, unfortunately, police have to do it. It's a tough way to learn a lesson, but it's the package stores that sells, them to, sells it to them. It's the people that they bribe to go buy it for them. When police spot an underage drinker, be aware that we are out there and we are going to be enforcing the law. You have to check the cars. Uh, it's, it's a tough call, but they need to do it. Police have a message for parents. To the parents that have teenagers coming in here to Hartford and expect them to come here and make good decisions, do not expect that. This is a, uh, an environment that is ripe for a teenager to make a poor decision. There's alcohol everywhere. It's not just their lives. When they get back out on the road, it's everybody else's. A garbage truck will be on site to confiscate all that booze. The concert starts tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. In addition to that concert, the Yard Goats have a game, and police say that game's expected to bring in over 7,000 people. If you plan on going to that game, get there early and expect a lot of traffic. I'm live tonight in Hartford. Noel Gardner, News 8.